So um, we was talking about the music and uh, all of your, the way you just hung in there and being true to yourself. Um, as you've grown in the industry since childhood to now, what are some things you've done to, to make you stand out from the crowd? Good question. Mostly the music that I make is different than everybody else. that I make is better than, not better, but different than everybody else <laughs> because I use uh, different kind of sounds and more, I'm trying to use a different variety of sounds, different kind of things and switch it up sometimes to, you know, to catch the ear and because uh, I sometimes make my beats too, that's what I say. Okay. So yeah, that's what I think is uh it's a little different because I try and switch up the sound and uh, get some, some new, trying to bring a new kind of style to this music because everybody does the same thing. Everybody makes the same stuff, sound the same, beats the same, everything the same. Now, as far as business uh, wise, you know that that's a, a good point that you brought up because business wise. A lot of people are making the same thing because that's what you hear on the radio. So they're trying to get that position. And a lot of things that are original have, you know, sometimes trouble uh, breaking into the rotation. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think that's why it's not no good. There's much good music in it now, is it? It used to be at one at one point in time because now it's just everybody trying to sound like another another person instead of sounding like themselves. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Mean. And then from a business perspective of it, um, a lot of artists that I'm talking to are having the challenge of staying true to yourself or feeding your family and then going back to your musical roots. What, what do you think about that process? I think it's just consistency to maintain working at all times, the whole time, even feeding your family to still be in that studio putting out quality music. Right. So what's your uh, sales and marketing plan to to bust through and get that exposure that you deserve? Well, uh, right now I got um, CDs, VMA, we've done C30, we've done CDs before. And right now we're doing CDs, trying to get the songs on iTunes. So yeah, we're trying to do a lot of things to, you know, trying to get heard. <laughs> okay. So, you know, as you are growing into a man now, and uh, you've been doing this since you're about 9, 10, 11 years old, uh, what are some things in life that you're having to stay clear from so that you could stay focused and not get sidetracked? I would say probably the street. It's easy to get caught up in that these days. So I would say if you did trying to stay away from that, then you can stay solid and you can keep a, uh, a focused mind in what you're doing. Because when you go that route, then, then you just lose the track of everything you were doing before. So I said that's one thing I try to avoid and go the other way from. All right. So when the fall comes back in, you'll be going to junior college, high school. Yeah. Which one? High school. Okay. So, I always tell the youngsters this. I don't know if you guys realize it or not, but there are like hundreds and hundreds of kids at school with you. That's your, your fan base right there. Are you looking at bringing some CDs to school and getting that 3 to $5 a pop? I mean, that, that, that can multiply every semester. That can turn into a few racks every semester. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is a good market. Uh, I had to look into that. I've never done that before. Because uh, uh, I mostly was in, when I 
was in like junior high and uh, elementary, but that's a good thing to look into in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now that I'm a little bit older and more mature now, I don't trip off things as much as I did before when I was younger. Right, right, and that way, you know, because it's going to take money, it takes money in this industry, and if you got a good product that you believe in, the, the school is, a, is an excellent spot. You know, when I was coming up, we were throwing uh, sock hops and little after-school bashes, and, and that's how, you know, a fan base was, like, uh, organically created. Now, you got a uh, ability to burn CDs and everything, and you got to realize, too, just another tip, when people graduate from high school, them two or three years when it's over, they start really developing into their issues and, and their goals. Like, for instance, some people are going to get married, some people are going to have babies and be looking at jobs and college and go away. Therefore, their tastes are expanded or their mobility and access to things also become limited. You know, in a sense, if they're going a new direction, if they got a family. So, therefore, you'll lose part of your fan base just for the simple fact that people grew up you know and their mind is in a different direction so I really want to impress that upon you get it now at school and that that's thousands of people to follow you and to assist financially in your career and some real fans right there You know what? We'll chat a little bit later and really get something cracking. So, so and get you excited. You know to see what's to come about. So when you go to the school this fall, you'll be ready to hit them hard. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what projects you got out right now? Well, I don't have no projects out right now. I got songs out right now. I'm doing a, a mixtape with my brother called. Uh, well, we don't have a name for it, but I'm doing a mixtape with my brother. Yeah. It's Young Wayne, and we post a lot of songs on YouTube. Uh, the channel is Real Boy and T, Real with a three, and Boy with an I, and then E and T. And uh, we doing a lot of music right now. Um, and that's most of the only music that we got out right now because I'm gonna come out with this mixtape, and then that's when I'll do the new music that I got is gonna come out. That's what's up. You got any uh, more videos and photo shoots coming up? Uh, yeah, we're going to be working on some videos. I got a video out already uh, called Critical Thinking on YouTube. Yeah, that's a hot one, man. Yeah, people can check that out. That's what's up. So as far as uh, like your team, who's behind you, who's producing with you, how are you making this happen? getting back to education um what are some of your plans after high school graduation Require that plan we was talking about, but go ahead. So what, what's the what's the educational plans? Uh, what do you mean by that? I, I mean, okay, so so you make it 
you get a, a deal or, or you come into a windfall of money for a great song. You, you still gotta have not necessarily something to fall back on, but something just to enhance yourself. You know, having a, a education and obtaining one and learning different skills, that's not saying that you quit or you give up or or put or putting that great if in there. It's just something to enhance you as a person, as a human, in your case, you're a young man, so to enhance your skills as a man because you could come into some money and then you might want to sew it into some other businesses. That's going to yeah. take an education. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh, I plan on going to college for, uh, like, auto, like, uh, cars and that kind of thing. That's what's up. I want to get my own, like, car stuff. Like, you know what West Coast Customs is? Uh-huh. Like a, yeah, that, something like that. That's what I want to have on my own. You know, if I, if I don't get nothing else, I want to be able to do that because that's the second thing that I like to do besides playing basketball, but, you know, everybody. Right, right. So, how did you get into uh, the love of cars? Um, mainly because ever since I was younger, I would, I would play racing games, watch my favorite movie, is Fast and Furious. I just, I don't know, I like cars. I've seen my uncle do it growing up all the time, and he wanted me to help him all the time when I was younger, and he showed me a lot of stuff. That's what's up, and it's always good to have a mechanical trait, you know, knowing how to make things go. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, everything in the future now is based upon computers, even the, the new cars. As a matter of fact, there's a school in Sacramento called uh, UTI, and they do, uh, you know, auto automotive type training and stuff like that. So when you get a chance, maybe you could hit them up on the web and, and already get that in process. So you still got your yeah. live event going over there on Redwood? I didn't even hear what you said to say the truth. The, uh, the, at Margaritas, you still over there doing that? Oh, right now, we ain't, um, doing that right now. We will probably be starting back up again, but they switched owners and everything. They changed the name, and it's, uh, gonna become a whole nother place, so we just hoping that everything goes through cool and we can still do it but right now we just we're not really doing it we just take them back right now and you had a cool thing going on and what a um you should be on well you know you should be proud of yourself because it's not too many youngsters that's throwing their own events you know finding venues yeah so do you think you caught a bug for throwing concerts and shows uh yeah i did and uh, I think that's a big part of what comes. I don't think people really see that, that doing shows and doing even little shows could possibly it could change everything. Because when you get where people want to be, that's the main thing that's going to keep going is like tour money and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And people don't see that's the, one of the best, another good way to get noticed is doing shows. And some people don't um, look into that. They just make music and throw it on YouTube and want everybody to see it. But, you know, you also got to go out and do shows, pass on TVs and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think that's helped me a lot for sure. That's what's up. We look forward to seeing some uh, Mac Wan events coming through in the future. Yeah. So, um... It ain't that bad. <laughs> So, man, is there anything you want to get out to the people? Anything you want them to know about you? I mean, go ahead. This is your time. Okay. Uh, well, I wanted to say that uh, I'm still uh, doing music. I'm open to making music with any uh, other artists, any producers, with any kids. Uh, I got a show at the... Unity Day in Vallejo in September. Okay. I'm doing that on the 15th. So, look out for that too. And like I said, I got this mixtape. The check 
point coming out pretty soon, so people be ready to get that too. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you taking time out to holler at Iconic Chronicles magazine. All right, thanks for having me. All right, for sure.